Hey there, thanks for joining me. This is Manny the Man Lopez. In this week's episode, we're going to be talking about how to start your own networking group. So stay tuned. We're going to have some great content for you guys to be able to take in and share. And uh, just hopefully you guys see some value in this. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. All right, thanks for joining me here, guys. Thanks for coming back. This is Manny the Man Lopez, and this is PLS Tips with Manny, where each week I give you guys new strategies, new tips on marketing and branding yourself online, and just really helping you position yourself as an expert in your industry. So this week I'm talking about how to start your own networking group. So here's what I've done step by step, how I've been able to begin my own networking group that I literally just launched today. We had our kickoff event, very successful, about 30 people showed up, uh, actually personally showed up to this event, uh, came and networked with us, we had a fun time. So I'm going to show you what I did and you guys can literally copy what I did and see if you had some success with it. So. Here's how it went down. So what I did is I wanted to start my own networking group where I meet locally at some type of restaurant or uh, place of business to where I can you know, find a way to network with other business professionals. Now one thing you have to understand, people are always hungry. So when you have a networking place that you want to start a networking group at, make sure they serve food. Okay, serving food, drinks, um, preferably alcohol as well. People love to show up just to be able to have the opportunity to drink alcohol, whether or not they drink it or not. They just want to have that opportunity. So uh, that's something that I've seen uh, of value in having a networking space. Uh, what I did is I chose a place uh, right across the street from my office. It's called El Torito. It's a little Mexican food place um, that's uh, pretty nationwide. I believe it's nationwide. And uh, what I did is I worked out a special deal with the manager. I said, hey, I'm going to be bringing in people here weekly uh, or bi-weekly or however, monthly or whatever way you want to do your events. But just let them know, hey, I want to do this event weekly. I want to bring people here and I want a promotion that I could offer that's exclusive to people of my network. So go in there and have confidence that they're going to give you a special menu just for you. Okay, and that's what they did. Uh, we set up a $10 special for the buffet and drink included, and then go and one of my guys ended up paying for everybody in the whole place. So <laughs> it was really funny. But um, either way, yes, 10 bucks, networking included, um, no fee for us to. I mean, you could obviously have something where you're making a little bit on that. I end up focusing on making money on the back end, promoting the power lead system or promoting them, you know, anything that I do within my business. So um, my coaching, anything that I that I offer. So that's how I'll end up making my money. Um, so I offered it ten dollars to everybody, you know, blah blah blah. Then I worked out. Um, I set up my own Facebook group uh, on Facebook, not a page, but a group on Facebook to where people can go and they can network. It's kind of like the same networking offline, but I put it into networking online. Um, so that's something that you want to integrate as well. Start a Facebook group. I also started a meetup page, meetup.com. Uh, it's a great place to be able to connect with like-minded individuals, uh, really grow your network, um, get people acclimated to what you're doing, that kind of stuff. So uh, I started a meetup group as well. Um, and then from there, uh, just start blasting it out, start networking, start incentivizing people to join your group. Um, I offered a free giveaway for everybody that was in attendance. So that was something that you could utilize. Um, offering some type of giveaways, incentives, freebies, free uh, free lunch or something, pay for a meal. What I ended up doing was um, setting up a free giveaway to say, hey, if somebody comes, uh, you'll be entering a raffle for a free lunch for next week, next time we meet. So this way it encourages them to come back. Okay, You don't want to just give away everything at the event that one time. You want to get them to come back. There's got to be a reason to come back. Um, I set it up a very fun little networking style where each, you know, we picked a person at each table. They did a pitch about their business, then went to the next table, then went to the next table until they got to everybody. And then just rotated as it went fit. Uh, but it was a pretty fun uh, event. Um, already generated a new client for my private business in that uh, from the event. And, you know, we haven't even finished the day yet. So that was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of like how I put my event. So let's kind of recap uh, so I can kind of recap. Uh, so the first thing I did was I came up with a concept for my networking group. Come up with a name, secure the domain on uh, GoDaddy or whatever place you buy your domains at. 
Um, I started a Facebook group, created a logo for it, created a meetup group, started inviting everybody I know, um, and just trying to get the word out there, incentivize people on coming in, uh, create a, a special menu just for you at that venue, um, and, and just hit the hard, hit the ground hard. You got to have confidence in getting people to your events uh, if you want to do this. It's a great place to get people uh, to connect with you offline, uh, to reconnect with you online, to really see value. I mean, I brought my biggest, biggest power partners through networking events. And so definitely something of value if you want to start your own. I've always had this idea of wanting to get my own networking group. And today's the day. We did it. We launched it. It was a success. I'm excited. Uh, a lot of people were there, and uh, it was fun. So I had a good time. Um, definitely something I'm going to be doing ongoing. Uh, it's definitely a lot of work involved, uh, but you, you got to have a passion for it. you got to be excited about being out there and shaking people's hands, getting out there and, and getting on stage and talking to people, You know, telling everybody about what you do. Because I like the thing about networking events. I can go there, and I get 30 seconds to a minute to talk about my business. So I get on there, and I just, you know, talk about what I do, share, I didn't even do my 30 seconds today. I mean, well, I was host of the event, so I guess I already kind of knew what I did. But um, that was kind of the focus, you know, really get people to connect with everybody else and find a way to create more business for people. Let other people create business. And when you do that, you're looked at as an expert in the industry, no matter what you do. Um, you could just be throwing the event together your first time like I did today and not have any experience in managing or running your own networking group or managing a networking event and have success with it. So, you know, that's what's fun for me. So that's what I did. I know it's pretty short. We're what, barely six and a half minutes in right now. But I think that's a, a pretty decent outline of how to start your own networking group and uh, consistently provide value. Um, definitely want to keep them in the loop of your group. I what I did is I set up. Um, I put all that stuff to my thing here. So I set up a. Um, give me a second here. Like a sign-in sheet. So this way, everyone in attendance, you know, they fill out a little form. I don't want to showcase the uh, logo, but yeah, they fill out a form. Everyone in attendance, so you can see it was actually real people. You know? um, so yeah, I mean, it was fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's something that, uh, that you could definitely start implementing into your business model, no matter where you're at. Um, there's always business professionals where you go. It can be a great place to just focus on training business professionals on online marketing. And then the pitch is always power leads, just funnel power leads to some leads all day long. Um, it's a lot more time inclusive than doing something like, you know, solo ads, of course, but you know, it's a different way of, of bringing in business. And that's the thing. Solo ads can run by themselves. They don't need management. They don't need you there every single day. Um, a networking group could be a way for you to get out of your office, get out of the house, get out of doing what you normally do and do something new. So try it out. See what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you have tried, what you've done, what kind of success you had. If you know of any great networking groups or places to find networking groups, uh, it's a great way to at least get in, see how they run and then start your own. That's the thing. So that's it for this week. Uh, kept it pretty short. I was running a little bit behind on schedule today because we just had a very hectic day, as you can see. Uh, but that's it. So let's uh, let's all get out there, start generating some more business. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great day. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.